I'm Dr. Leslie Schwindel, and I've been a physician for 13 years and an orthopedic surgeon for seven years. Dr. Jesse Pace, um, an orthopedic surgeon, uh, subspecialized, fellowship trained in sports medicine. I've been practicing since 2010. Robotic assisted surgery is using computer navigation and robotic assisted tools to help make more precise measurements and cuts within joint replacement surgery, which can improve alignment, uh, help with more accurate sizing of implants and ligament balancing, and all of this leads to better outcomes for patients. A real life analogy for robotic assisted knee replacement would be a GPS in a vehicle where you input your destination and it guides you on how to get there. The way it works is it helps the surgeon verify that all the components that we implant are in perfect alignment and all the gaps and are balanced in the knee so that you get more longevity out of the implant, uh, which means it'll last longer, it's balanced better. In that sense, it'll be better for the patient because their knee will be more like a native knee. The normal patient for a knee replacement or hip replacement would be later in life and 50s and above, and the more complex a deformity is, probably the better candidate they would be because that helps me with more accuracy in assessing how to correct their deformity and how to size their implants and balance 30 afterward. I think it helps speed things up so that the patient's not under anesthesia as long, we don't have to use as much instrumentation, uh, the precision is better, uh, outcome will be better. People ask me all the time, when do I need surgery? or you know, and they kind of want you to tell them when, when to operate. But I tell my patients, you want to try all conservative measures first. And then when it gets to the point where every day that you get up, you're thinking about your knee and it affects your ability to do things and your ability to do things you enjoy, it not only will affect your knee, it'll affect your overall lifestyle. I mean, people's moods get affected. Um, and when it comes to that point where you've tried all the things there is to try conservatively, you've exhausted all those efforts, then that's when it's time to do surgery. From a patient perspective, I think they go into surgery having increased confidence that the surgeon is not only going to do a good job, but they're going to have a very accurate, well-balanced knee. and they're. Hopefully that will translate into less pain, better flexibility, and more natural demotion after surgery. So I think technology will be very important for the future, but what I'm more interested in is how my patients are functioning, how they're experiencing pain, and then what non-operative treatments have we tried. Now we have the ability to be able to essentially balance the whole knee and have a road map and a double check system of what to do. I think we're, we're going to be in such a such a better place on patient satisfaction, getting patients back to doing what they want to do much quicker, and just their overall lifestyle being improved because we have the technology available is just unremarkable. So